Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I am trying out another weird mask for you guys. If you know me or if you've been subscribed to my channel for a while, you'll know that I do love a weird mask. My favourite mask of all time has to be my Glam Glow Super Mud Clearing Treatment, which kind of looks like this right here. It's my favourite one, like, hands down, ever. But over the years that I've kind of gotten really into masks, I've loved just trying out weird ones. And the one that I'm going to be testing out on camera for you guys today is a really weird one. It's this one here, which is by the brand called Bliss. This is the Mask Appearance peel a radiance revealing a rubberizing mask so it's supposed to feel like rubber on your skin it's really weird but yeah I wanted to try this out on a camera I've actually got two right here one of them is a complexion clearing one whereas this one is radiance revealing and I definitely want my skin to be really radiant so I thought why not try this out as always I'm just going to read off to you guys what this mask claims so it says that this revitalizing a rubberizing mask hugs every facial contour to optimally deposit brightening a vitamin C nourishing bilberry extract I've never heard of that berry but it sounds tasty and detoxifying seaweed once the mask sets peel it away to reveal spa perfect skin a beautifully radiant healthy looking complexion with improved tone and texture because this is claiming radiant skin I am gonna try this out so this retails for 20 pounds and in here you get three tubs so this is what is gonna turn into like that rubber and this is what we're gonna put onto our face so you get three lots of this in the box and because you get three in here this kind of means that one mask application is I'm gonna have to get my calculator up because my maths is so bad, which is kind of expensive considering you can get sheet masks and things like that for so much cheaper, but this is a very weird kind of mask. So who knows, let's just try it out and see how we get on. So my skin is already cleansed and I'm just gonna go ahead and put one of these on. Okay, so you've got like powder in here. And on one side of the tub, you've got exactly how much water to put it. So you've got to pour cool water in here up to this line right here, and then mix it all up with the spatula that you get in the box. And then basically just go to town and put it all over your face, avoiding the eye area, and then you just let it sit for 20 minutes. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start this because I'm so excited to get it on my face. I really hope I don't drop my water all over me. I'm gonna get some tissue just in case. Guys, I'm so excited about this. I've been wanting to try this out ever since I got it. So, okay, I'm gonna start pouring my water in here. Oh, I am spilling it. And then just mix away. This is what it looks like right now as I'm mixing it. It just kind of looks like goop. You've gotta make sure that there's no like lumps, otherwise you're just gonna get like lumps of powder on your skin. It smells kind of chemically. I don't know, it smells kind of weird. I'm kind of scared to put this on my face because it's so cold, like the water is really cold that I put in here. My rubber paste is ready and I'm just gonna start chucking this onto my face. All right, I'm just gonna kind of go for it. Oh, it's cold! It is so cold, you guys. So the face mask is on. I still have quite a bit left in here. I feel like I should have worked quicker because I can feel it drying already. Um, Cause it's kind of like was dripping and then it kind of like stayed put. So now that I've got this on my face, I am gonna just sit back and relax for the next 20 minutes. And then I'll be back to do the peeling. And I cannot wait for that. It's currently quarter to two. So I'll be back just after two um, and then we can get peeling. Okay, it's almost been 20 minutes and I've had this on my face. I feel like it's darkened in color. My face still feels really, really, really cold. But yeah, I think it's time to take this off. It just says to peel it off and use a warm cloth just to take away any excess. So I am gonna peel it away. I'm like stretching my skin to try and see if I can get it off in one go. Oh my god, this feels so funny. 
it kind of feels like what prosthetics would feel like on your face. Oh my God. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> I couldn't get it off in one go. It feels really like wet on the inside. This just feels so weird. Like it actually is like rubber. I'm just gonna get the rest of these pieces off my face. So I've just taken it all off and I mean my skin feels really fresh and like new, almost like I've just gotten out of the shower and like really kind of gave my face a good clean. Um, it does look slightly more radiant. I mean, I've not put anything on it, but I do feel like there's a bit of a glow on my skin. What do you guys think? Like, I'd love to know your comments if you can kind of notice a difference. My skin feels so soft and it has left a slight bit of like, not residue, but it does feel like there's some kind of stuff on my skin from the mask um, because it is slightly kind of like wet on the inside. I would definitely use this mask again. I would love to actually use this one to see whether it helps kind of calm any breakouts that I have. Um, but I really enjoyed using it. Although it's a little bit gimmicky with the rubber, my skin feels really, really nice after taking it off. And considering I've not put any kind of serum or anything onto my skin afterwards, I'm actually quite impressed with that. I really, really liked it. I did feel like that there was a little bit too much mask on my skin um, because I got a lot in here. Now I don't know whether my face is really small maybe I don't know um, but I would definitely half the product next time and half the water just so that I can get more use out of them because it's kind of like three pounds per face mask um, if I did it that way but I'm really really liking this I do really feel refreshed and I loved peeling that rubber mask off my face so guys let me know if you've tried this mask out before um, I would love to know your thoughts and I guess that is all for now and I will see you all in my next video bye